what is up everyone and we are back with another new world video today we're going to be talking about gathering yield and how to optimize your gathering yield some people believe that you just need the most gathering yield for the most amount of drops however there is diminishing returns for example if you push your yield to 70 percent it might have no difference than a 60 percent yield at your current farm and that is what we're going to be talking about but before i get into that my name is kzox and i created this channel in order to donate a portion of revenue to nonprofit organizations to help out disabled veterans like myself and by watching you're contributing so i thank each and every one of you and if you want to know which ones i am supporting it is linked in the description down below how gathering yield works if your gathering node and it originally drops 10 and you have a 60 percent gathering yield it will now drop 16. if you have 100 percent it will drop 20. now if you do have one drop from anything including void ores and your yield is 100 percent you will get two void ores. It is also good to know that this number does not round up. If the gathering yield is 99% and you mine a void ore, you will still get one void ore. In that specific case, a 0% yield is the same exact as a 99% yield, but you hit that 100% yield and you get double of everything. This brings up why 60% yield is better than 70% yield. This is because of the rounding issue and it might not be worth it to use a proficiency booster potion because the cost would be greater than what you gain back. Or it might be not worth it to upgrade your tool to a higher gear score in order to get that 19% yield bonus instead of a 15% yield bonus for example. Yes, having the most yield is the best in nearly all situations, but you gotta consider that as you go higher in yield, the costs go up dramatically. For example, a 600 gear score tool gives 20% yield, but a 599 tool gives 19% yield. And in most cases, a 600 gear score tool will more than triple the cost of a 599 tool. That depends on the perks of course, but considering Ceratus Paribus, which is all else equal. Our goal here is to maximize our form without hurting our long-term coin gains. Thus, sometimes a 7% proficiency booster at a price tag of 5 coin is better than a 10% booster at a price tag of 20 coin. If you do want to have that extra gathering yield or not depends on what you're gathering. For example, this can be applied to everything you can gather. If you are farming for a void ore that always drops 1, in order to get 2, you do need that 100% gathering yield. Now if you are gathering hyssop, there are 3 tiers. Small, that drops 2 to 3, medium, drops 3 to 5, and large, that drops 4 to 6. A 70% extra yield on top of that will boost the amount to gain from the small 3 or 5, medium 5, 6 or 8, and large 6, 8, and 10. A 60% extra yield will change the amounts you gather from small to 3 or 4, herbs medium 4, 6 or 8, and large 6, 8 or 9. If you dive deeper into it, herb small will have a 50% chance at plus 1 hiss up at the top end for 4 hiss up when you have 60% gathering yield or 5 hiss up when you have 70% gathering yield. Then medium has a 33% at plus 1 hiss up at the low end, 4 at 60% gathering yield and 5 at 70% gathering yield. Then large has a 33% chance at plus 1 hiss up at the top end only, 9 at 60% yield or 10 at 70% yield. Then you have to consider that strong proficiency boosters that give 10% yield cost around 20 coin. His ups are valued at 0.20 coin each. Thus, in order to break even, you have to gather 100 more hits up with a strong proficiency booster than without a strong proficiency booster. What this all means is that you need to gather 200 small herbs at a 50% chance for plus one hits up in order to get 100 extra or gather 333 medium for 100 or 333 large. I understand that gathering is not all or one, it is pretty much medium, large and small that you're going to be gathering. But you do need to gather on the low end 200 small herbs within that 20 minute limit in order for you to break even. And if you gather 202 small herbs, you will profit. And I don't know about you, but 200 seems like a lot in high populated servers. So in my opinion, it might not be worth it to use those proficiency boosters because of the cost is greater than the reward. But this example is just for Hissa. When you are farming for that void ore, every little extra gathering yield is well worth it because the value gained 
highly outweighs the cost of those proficiency boosters. There are plenty of ways to boost your gathering yield when you want to and it is as follows. For the global buffs or always active buffs, gathering yield from owning a house with a active town buff. Then there's owning Winsworth for, for a 10% yield that is also a global buff. Tools is global since you always have your tool equipped. Proficiency boosters are active when you're using it. And attributes when you reach that 250 threshold for a 10% yield. For example, if you have 250 decks, you get 10% yield to skinning. And then these are the territory only buffs, meaning it is only active when you are in the specific territory. And that is, a faction owning the territory gives you a 10% yield and gathering speed from territory standing. Gathering speed is actually gathering yield and this is active only in the territory that you have the territory standing in. So as you progress further and further into the game, you can easily get over 100% yield for that times 2 void ore. The easiest ones to get in my opinion is the tool because you can always buy it, proficiency booster yield because you can buy it, and attributes bonus by reallocating your attributes because you can always respect your attributes. Then there's medium to hard. Leveling territory standing can be easily done. If you have a lot of coin you can just buy a lot of food ingredients and then make mass amounts of food to get those territory standing points. Or you can just farm those corruptor portals when they are active. Your faction owning windwards for, for that 10% extra global yield is very easy to do if there's not a lot of players online you can just actually solo cap a fort by yourself. Then your faction owning the territory that you're trying to gather in. This is extremely hard because there are exploits and glitches that companies are using in order to reset their influence so you cannot declare a war on them. And the hardest one in my opinion is having a territory that you have a house in that also has an active buff that you want. On my server on Everfall, I never got a gathering yield bonus that I want because the territory owners just pick increased gear score buffs. So in most cases, this would be the hardest to get in my opinion. If you do want to figure out if having more yield would benefit you and your farm, there is a small Excel calculator linked in the description down below. It's not really advanced or anything, but it's there if you need it. I'm going to be doing a quick demo on the calculator that I just made for gathering yield. This is used to determine if you should get more gathering yield or not. In most cases, marginal increases aren't worth it such as a 7% booster compared to a 10% booster because the costs are greater than rewards. You input your current yields and target yield to see if adding more yield or subtracting yield can boost your overall drops and keep your costs the same. So for example, you need to start at table C. You input your values here for your gathering yield, such as tool. If your tool has 19%, put 19%. You have gathering speed cards, which is actually gathering yield cards. Put that here, so on and so forth. This gets added up to a total of 70% in my case, and this gets transferred to the table A under current yield 70%. Then when you put changes here, you will see this table B change. So at 70%, you can gather all the green below. So for example, if you if your drops if your gathering node drops two, you will get an extra one. But you won't get an extra two because it's red. If you're gathering three, you will get extra two. Gathering four, you will get an extra two as well. Then gathering five at 70% will get you three extra. So on and so forth. But the target yield is when you want to compare, say you have um you don't want to use the proficiency booster so you take out the proficiency booster but this is just a value that you put yourself so if you want to minus that 10 percent from the proficiency booster just put 60 percent and whatever turns orange here is what you will gather so for two you will gather one so it's pretty much the same thing as 70 percent right if you gather three you will get an extra one but you will not get an extra two and then for four it's exactly the same as 70%. So 4 times 1.6 gets you, uh, what is it? 4 times 1.6 gets you 2.4. And times 0.7 gives you 2.8, right? So these do not round up. So 4 will get you 6 and 4 will get you 6 as well at 60 and 70% target yield and current yield. And that's pretty much it. You can just go over to download this at the file download and go to microsoft excel download that 
open it up and play with it with your numbers and that's pretty much it i hope you enjoy this calculator and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos my tags right here if you want to do that and that's it and that's it for this video if you like this video and it helped you out please hit the like button and consider subscribing as that greatly helps my channel reach a greater audience and helps me donate even more to disabled veterans thank you all for tuning in and listening and until next time